Data engineering jobs are growing 30% year on year. This is going to be one of the top roles in 2025. So if you are someone planning to make a switch to this job, then this video is just for you. Hello everyone, my name is Manish Garg and I am one of the co-founders at Boss Coder Academy. Let's talk about data engineering roadmap today. So let's start with the agenda for today's video. So we are going to discuss about data engineering roadmap. So the agenda for this video is, we'll deep dive into different roles available in data domain. We'll talk about different roles, job titles in specific to data engineering. We'll talk about what skills are required in data engineering and what are the different salaries that you can get in different companies. So let's first talk about different roles in the data domain. So if you look at the different roles, data, there are majorly three different roles available. One is data engineering role. Another one is the role of a data analyst and the third is the role of a data scientist or ML engineer. If I talk about data engineer, data engineer is a person who works on large amount of data and works on formatting the data and make it available for others to use. The role of data analyst is to find insights from this data that data engineer has processed and made it available for everyone. And data scientists are the people who make future predictions from this data. To talk more specific about what exactly a data engineer does. Let's say you have a room full of toys, clothes, everything. And it's a messy room. The role of a data engineer is to clean up this room. Basically, if you clean up this room and place your toys, clothes and different things, at different places then it will be much easier to find different things for others this is what exactly a data engineer does in a company with data it cleans the data formats the data and make it available for use to others like data analyst or or data scientists talking uh, going a bit more deeper into data engineering roles uh, different roles that are available in data engineering is you can f these essentially all these roles are same only the names are different you can find a role like data engineer or big data engineer data warehouse engineer cloud engineer etl developer all these people essentially does the role of a data engineer only and the skills required to get into these roles are very similar Let's talk about different skills that you need to get into a company as a data engineer. We'll go step by step. So let's say if you want to become a data engineer. And so what you need to do is you need to know how to process the data, how to clean the data. So number one thing that you need to learn is about a programming language. Any coding language is fine, but the most widely used three languages in the field of data engineering are Python, Java and Scala. Python is the most used and I would suggest every one of you to stick to Python or if you are already working with either Java or Scala, it's perfectly fine and you can continue with these languages also. If you are looking to crack some big product companies, then knowing data structures and algorithms will also come handy so data structures and algorithm is optional but will be required in big product companies number one let's say now you know how to write code how to uh, you have learned about python second thing which is important is database management system since you are going to deal with large amount of data this data will be mostly stored in databases so you need to learn about different type of databases, SQL database and no SQL databases. You need, you need to have knowledge of advanced SQL. So SQL is very, very important. This is the second skill that you have to learn. Now you have learned about programming language and SQL. Since you are going to work on large, again, large amount of data, you will not be working on your local systems you will be working mostly on cloud based uh, infrastructures and cloud based platforms. So learning Linux will come handy when you are going to deal with cloud based platforms. 
Linux is the third thing that you need to learn. Uh, next skill that you have to focus on is cloud is learning about cloud computing platforms where you are going to actually uh, do all your data engineering work. Majorly there are three cloud computing platforms. Number one is AWS, Google Cloud Platform and Azure. All three are used widely in the industry. All of these three are very similar. You can stick to any one of the platform. Either you can use Azure or AWS or GCP. Anything is fine. All are similar. So once you have done, you have learnt about cloud computing platforms. The next skill that you have to focus on is actual data engineering skills. When it comes to actual data engineering, mostly you have to learn about data processing and data warehousing. Going a bit deeper into data processing, you are going to deal with large amount of data, which is also known as big data. You have to learn how to process large amount of data or how to process big data. Mostly there are two data processing of big data happens in two ways. One is batch data processing and other is streaming data processing. Batch data processing means that you have a very large amount of data already available and you want to process whole of this data in one go in a batch. This is known as batch data processing. Apache Spark is one of the most popular frameworks for batch data processing. So learning about Apache Spark and how to use it, what are the fundamentals, how it works internally is really important for a good data engineer. Second is streaming data. Streaming data means you have large amount of data which is coming to you in real time. For example, if you want to analyze something on Amazon when someone is buying products on Amazon. Now these transactions are happening in real time and if some processing has to be done in real time, then streaming data processing is required. Kafka which uses PubSub internally is one of the most popular frameworks for streaming data processing. Coming to data warehousing, data warehousing means how the data that you have processed already processed will be stored. So warehouse is a place where actually this data is going to get stored. In data warehousing, there are mostly three things that we do, which is also known as ETL. ETL means, E means extract, how you are going to extract the data. T means transform, how you are going to transform or basically change the format of the data. And L means load, how you are going to load or store this data in data warehouses. This is what ETL or ETL pipelines mean. Uh, there are different tools that can be used to, uh, that are used for data warehousing. Apache Airflow is one of the tools which can be used and which is something that you have to learn about. So this is another skill that we have to learn about. Talking about the next skill, which is, which also comes handy. Since a data engineer is essentially a software engineer. Learning about CI CD pipelines, how Git works, how Kubernetes works is also very, very important. So this can be the last module that you have to learn about. If I put a timeline and summarize what uh, skills are required, you can spend around one month in learning a programming language. You can spend another one month in learning databases, SQL and NoSQL databases. Linux can be learnt in one month. Linux along with any one cloud computing platform can, you can learn these in one month. You should spend around three months learning on actual data engineering skills like data processing and data warehousing. And then CI, CD pipelines and rest of the things can also be learned in about one month. So this is going to take in total around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months to learn all these uh, different skills. If I talk about salaries that are there in, in product companies for data engineering roles, 
as a fresher you can start with salaries from around 15 lakhs per annum to 30 lakhs per annum for freshers for data engineering roles in big good product companies if you are experienced then these you can extrapolate these numbers based on your experience there is no higher limit for a good candidate if you want to learn all these skills and want to become a data engineer in a good product company then Boscoder Academy has a course has a very structured course which covers all these skills that I have mentioned all these skills are are covered in a very structured manner you get mentorship from top people in the industry uh, and also you get career support at Boscoder Academy so you can check out our course on our website www.boscoderacademy.com Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed the roadmap.